Shalom and Namaste, children of the light. God is literally inside our brains. Yeshua, you may know him as Jesus, his pagan name, but his true name, the great emissary of light, is Yeshua. And his teachings in the Bible are all about the pineal gland and how it is the gateway to God. Now, if you're not familiar with the pineal gland, it is in your brain. Thus, your brain is God. God is literally inside our brain. Now, in Genesis, in chapter 32, verse 30, it says, And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen God face to face. God is literally inside our brains, and the rising of the kundalini heat to the pineal gland is the avenue that you travel, that you traverse to enter into your own temple where you worship God. Meditation in the dark is key. Melatonin. So, the Bible, when you understand that the parables, in particular that Yeshua shared with us, with his flock, and certainly within the Torah, which is actually the Old Testament. But essentially, the Quantum Bible, as I refer to it, is a book of science, of astrology, of astronomy. It's a book about chakras, kundalini. It's not about religion. The Bible has nothing whatsoever to do with religion. Religion is is the work of Hasatan. It must be done away with. Because I'm going to tell you, dear esteemed, most honorable viewer, that <clears throat> how should I put this? I want to make it clear. The only reason why I'm sharing this video with you right now is to make it clear that opening the crown chakra Using your third eye, the pineal gland, being psychic, having clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience has nothing to do with the physical body, with your color, with your race, with your ethnicity, with your political leanings, any of the divisions that the powers that be, the secret government overlords seek to divide us. It has nothing to do, none of your spiritual gifts, your light body has nothing to do with your race. Rather, it has everything to do with your love of God and your fellow human beings. In other words, how spiritual you are or how spiritual you are not, if you're trapped in the third dimension, a prisoner of the digital matrix, We all have the potential for the same spiritual gifts and powers. And like the flowers in the field, we will all bloom. Just not all at the exact same time. Everyone's path of ascension is unique and on, not, and on their own divine timing. Yet the first flower is no more lovely than the last. Now, your pineal gland most likely is calcified and it has been purposely orchestrated to do so through fluoride in the water and that's one of the reasons why fluoride has been put into the water to try to stop people from awakening and it's done quite a, a good job if, if you haven't noticed there's many unawake people creating low density vibrations it's uh, the fluoride in the water also keeps people docile. Hitler used it in his camps. But mankind, the, the 2,000 secret government overlords of the Illuminati, Dark Cabal, whatever, you, however you want to refer to them, the powers that be, the deep state, they cannot keep God consciousness from this planet. They cannot keep your consciousness from expanding. No one can hold back the dawn. 
no one can hold back the light. And to reach enlightenment, you must consciously travel all the way back to pure spirit, to, to God consciousness, which is in the seventh dimension, the seventh plane. The fifth dimension, the fifth plane is the plane of spiritual thought, which is a principle of our higher consciousness. It is where a teacher strives to sit in daily consciousness. Now, it is vitally important that you master your emotions, that you become imbued with the light, that you become full, your, your eye becomes single, your whole body will become light as Yeshua shared on, in the Sermon on the Mount. And I offer you this protection shield, a mantra, a mantra of the light that resonates throughout the free will zones of the universe. And let this become part of your daily regimen and mental spiritual hygiene. I share the mantra now. I, you, we, I am a sovereign being exercising free will as I ascend the spiral of spirit. I intend, it is my intention, that the higher purpose of the divine plan be served and that the light prevail. We are children of the light and we are not of the darkness. We are children of the expanded and open pineal gland, the third eye, the Ajna Chakra, the expanded awake crown chakra that is connected to the galactic chakra that is connected to intelligent infinity because nothing can overpower you if you stand tall in your clarity of purpose you can deflect negativity you can deflect hatred these low vibrations and evil by shining bright the light of your evolving spirit of your open crown chakra of your open ajna chakra of your third eye your pineal gland your brain is god your consciousness is god and expanding consciousness or you can resonate to evil to hatred through disempowering thoughts and emotions and your emotions keep in mind your thoughts are energy and your emotions are energy in motion get excited about your path be full of emotion of positive energy of positive thoughts because listen i'm going to tell you in this day and age trust no one listen to no one adhere to no one grasp the gift of exploration of study, of inner work, and seek out the answers for yourself. For if you are comfortable simply living by the dictates of what someone else tells you is so, then you are doomed to live that life of constrained servitude, of subjugation, of the pathetic mental pygmies of the old paradigm. Think for yourself. And before you know it, the answers will make themselves as evident as the nose on your face. The realization that all that remains in the end is a kind of forbidden knowledge, a rage with and beyond reason against reason itself as exiles from the comforts of bondage, of mental servitude. We, you, us, we are composers of a cognitive music. That is not a spirituality or a religion, nor is it an eschewing of either one. But it is a religion of no religion, a faith of no faith, a belief in no belief. It is in essence an, em an embracing of consciousness and the eternity of consciousness. And the light of knowledge and the light of exploration, the light of individuality, the light of uniqueness and the light of self empowering self sovereign ascendance to the new earth. That is the golden age, the Satyuga. Please join me there. Please hit the subscribe button. Leave this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for further information dissemination broadcast from the old bond new earth ashram for compassion, strength, and the opening of your God brain, your God force. Namaste. Namaskar.